All right, folks, my name is Quentin Crisco. Find me on Twitter at BuckusStats. Make sure to go check out my podcast, Shaving Points Podcast, where we talk every NFL game. Make sure to check out my writing at ONTAP Sportsnet. I also do a podcast for ONTAP Sportsnet called Bears on Tap. But let's get down to business. We are looking at the Green Bay Packers defense in preparation for their game against the Chicago Bears this week. Third down coverage packages. First play here, we see a cover one look. Um, I think it might be like a robber. This safety right here, looks like he's playing a more shallow zone right in the middle. You got your up top safety playing center field and then man coverage across the board aside from that. And a trend here in cover one, Hertz was just killing them. See another cover one package, this time in the middle here, we have a QB spy. Previously, we had a safety and a robber. This time they put a linebacker and a spy. Man coverage across the board, except for the single high safety who's playing a center and field role. Again, I mean, this might've been a design run, QB draw. They take out the spy and Hertz just torches them when we see a cover one blitz single high safety is dropping deep center field linebacker again is spying the qb on this they're only running a two-man route concept so you can only really tell two of the man coverage guys i am not sure what this this player's doing he follows the tight end up the seam along with that man coverage i'm not sure I'm, I'm assuming one of his assignment his assignment was one of these guys honestly this linebacker probably had the running back but the running back stays in the block so he just went into a spy they're bringing in what six guys here it's really good dialogue for the play call i mean they must have had a pretty good idea that they were going to run a, a two-man concept here to be blitzing on it let's take a look again hurts just the blitz the man coverage he has all data run he was just torching them in cover one so what'd they do because they're getting torched by Hertz legs in cover one. They start playing a lot more cover three. This one, they, they bring a fifth blitzer, or a, a fifth pass rusher. This uh, nickel corner comes in. Or actually, he looks kind of big, maybe a linebacker, but uh, he comes in on the blitz, on the blitz out of there. We have deep third. We have a late rotation right here that goes to the deep middle. And we have deep third right here. And the safety, comes down plays a uh plays a flat a flat zone linebacker plays shallow middle and this edge, edge rusher plays a uh zone uh, uh flat zone let's take a look hurts does a good job getting the ball out it's third down so it doesn't really do a lot but aj brown just coughs it up and right here this is hilarious hand in the air celebrating waving goodbye to the offense they're like oh, it's an offensive lineman he ain't gonna catch us he's barely running that's just the quarterback we'll take him out that'll be easy wrong <laughs> that should have been six right, we see another cover three blitz they're bringing five guys again they mug up the front get a linebacker a linebacker right in the a gap there they're going to drop this edge rusher into into a shallow flat that, that linebacker in the a gap is going to go to a shallow flat um this corner is going to go to a uh a flat zone and then we're playing deep third deep middle deep third on the back end hertz gets flushed out can't really do much they got good contain that's something that's going to matter against Fields. I wouldn't be surprised to see them mimic this game plan, mimic the uh, the cover three concepts. I wouldn't be surprised to see them mimic the cover three concepts that we've seen so far, because Fields will also torch them in the cover one looks with his legs. This one, I couldn't quite tell what the defense was. Maybe it's may, maybe it's cover three. I think it might be quarters. It's kind of it's it's kind of hard to say for the ball comes out real quick, which can muddy this up quite a bit. Just a straightforward man rush. Um, you know this might this might be cover three. I'm I keep going back and forth which what I think this is. All right, now we're just taking a look at some of their pass coverage and pass rush downs. This looks to me like it's cover three. We've got deep middle deep third deep third 
this corner right here is just taking AJ Brown man man on man like in the slot I don't think that's that 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 is rare that a slot corner would just play man while everyone else is playing something different one two three four five watch Devonta Smith here right here hits his stem hard gets Alexander coming coming inside and then cuts back out leaves him in the dust hurts puts the ball a little short but it's fine he's got a lot of room to work with five guys coming in yeah and the protection is just looks like uh, Isaac Samola gets beat and then uh, the left tackle has a hard time catching up with number 47 here. Forty-seven makes the play. Forty-seven stood out to me quite a bit on this tape. Not gonna lie, he plays he plays an aggressive brand of football. And I like it. We have a quarters defense. These linebackers are just playing shallow zones. Um, so and the nickels just playing straight up on the slot. And so the O line just gets beat here. I think that's Kenny Clark. You know, we'll watch Kenny Clark. Right there. Just work his guy. He's a monster. He's a problem. He has been for years. Nothing's changed. All right, this one looks like a quarters look to me. You got the two outside corners on the bottom of your screen playing playing deep quarters. The the up high safety is playing a quarter on the mid right, and then. Uh, the corner up top's playing a, a quarter along the sideline. And the other safety here, looks like he's playing a bit of a robber role. Four-man rush, linebackers are just in uh, shallow zones. He sees, you know, I got man-to-man -man downfield, essentially, and I got A.J. Brown up here, and A.J. Brown beats the man-to-man -man coverage. All right, now we're taking a look at Packers' run defense. But like what I see from 47. Watch him hold the edge. So let's see. Is that Lane Johnson he's going up against? He holds strong against Lane Johnson, controls it. See, Johnson turns his head right there. And that's where 47 makes his move. Gets the contain on the edge. It's going nowhere. Preston Smith's pretty good against the run, too. I mean, we can watch him on this play because he, he makes the play here. This outside run, he holds the edge against Lane Johnson, gets to the back, see what controls it, wipes, gets over, makes the play. This Eagles tape made me think they were probably like one of the worst in the league against explosive runs, because while they did make a good amount of stops, they also gave up some big chunk plays, like this one. Here you see Kenny Clark gets eaten up on a double team. It's gonna happen. Number 97 does an okay job. Clark thinks it's going inside. He, he tries a little spin there. So 51 needs to be able to get through this block. This tight end is coming out to seal 51. And he needs to get through it. Like, that is that is why this play is going big. Amos does his job of keeping the running back inside this lane. So 51 can come up here and make the tackle. And it would help if Kenny Clark had kept kept going this way to keep that lane integrity a little more narrow. But if 51's not, not busting through that block or around it, one of the two, you're not getting like you're not gonna make make a stop there. And this this these last two are just red zone looks. They are just we're more powerful than you. Packers D line isn't the most powerful. Like Kenny Clark's outstanding but they, they've struggled to stop these short yardage situations. And that's all I've got for you this time around, folks. Make sure to go check out my podcast. We have YouTube, we're on Spotify, we're on iTunes, Shaving Points Podcast. Follow me at Buckus Stats on Twitter. Thanks for tuning in and bear down.